Southern Californian band Bleeding Through have proved that heavy metal is still cutting through in the mainstream. Their album, The Truth, debuted at number 48 on the Billboard Top 200 chart in the US in 2006, a higher ranking in the mainstream charts than some might expect from an extreme heavy metal band whose style of music isn't always well received in the commercial marketplace. Billboard magazine even named The Truth one of the most important hard rock albums of 2006. Lead singer and songwriter Brandon Schiapetti said he and the band have been as surprised as anyone about their broader appeal. We never thought it, that would ever happen for like a band like us, which is more like, a, I guess, more metal, extreme sounding band, I guess. Soon after releasing the album, the band embarked on a seven show tour of the UK, where they once again outdid themselves by developing a loyal following. It surprised me, you know, as, as well as the rest of the people in the band, because when you go overseas, you never know how it was going to be. I mean, you could go to your neighboring state, like we're from California, you can go to Arizona and have a pretty good show, but you never know if you're going to go to the UK and have like a, a good show. And uh, so for, from the very first time we were here, we got you know welcomed with open arms. And since then, it's just gotten a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger. And it just seems that people keep on you know, responding to us like positively, which is more than we, we could ask for. Meanwhile, over in Massachusetts, four-piece rock band Stained were one of the original bands to launch the heavy guitar sound dubbed New Metal. Their first trip to the UK was also a huge success, with crowds moshing along like mad and knowing all the words to all the songs. Like Bleeding Through, Stained was stunned by their popularity with British crowds. It was incredible. I mean, none of us expect that, I mean, especially never having played here. I mean, it was, uh, blew me away. Same thing in the States. I mean, I never expected it to do that in the States either. Stained got their big break when Limp Biscuit frontman Fred Durst, who has done much to promote the new breed of rock bands, heard them play and swung them a record deal. But his initial reaction to the band was not so favorable. Well, it was actually the first time we ever met them. We had a chance to open up for them, and Aaron had given those guys a copy of our, we had done a CD ourselves. And, uh, and Fred came to us about 20 minutes before we were supposed to play, and kind of started going off on Aaron and myself and tried to have us thrown off the bill and threw the CD across the bar, thought we were Satan worshippers. And we were able to play and that's when he, you know, watched the show and liked what we were doing. The music won Durst over and Stained were on the road to success. Endorsement from a big name can give a band a kick start, but Brandon Schiapetti puts Bleeding Through's success down to good old word of mouth. We definitely don't take, you know, take for granted that we're very lucky to have like, you know, good people that like our music. And so for us, it's, we've really like been fortunate in many, many aspects of, you know, getting good fans coming out to our shows and getting like loyal kids and having those kids tell more kids about like the, the band. And, and I, think, I think the reason why our, our shows are so popular and then we might sell like a, a bit of records here and there is because, you know, our fans, our fans sell the music for us like perfectly, so. The band formed in 2000 in Orange County, California an area more associated with sun, surf, and the glamour of Hollywood than dark heavy metal angst. Yet Shia Patti says that living in Southern California inspired their music. Everybody thinks that Southern California is just like, you know, paradise and, and whatnot, and the land of the beautiful people and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, beneath all that is it's the land of competition. It's, you know, if you're not a certain way, you get condemned for many things. And, and so, you know, the inspiration for the music is just ang angst from not fitting in at all ever, and uh, you know, you know, having like your heart stepped on, and you know, heartbreak does exist in places like Orange County. So I'm sort of like the voice of like people that can't never be heard there. You know, so that's that's the reason why the lyrics are like they are. But it's not only heartbreak that the band can relate to. The origin of the band's name was explained in an interview, and can be summed up by the poetic explanation that whether black, white, red, brown, yellow. Whatever your religious preference, straight or gay, we all bleed the same, and we bleed through this life the same, thus bleeding through.